Open, babe. We're going. Woohoo! Well, you know, friends from the Netherlands used to have a house left into the mud for an old RV called Penelope. She's in 1983. Pictures and patterns of design, but now we love drive until the end of time. Well, are we licious if you like a vibe? Please subscribe, please subscribe. Hello, buddies. Good morning. We got a request that a lot of people probably wonder about uh, <coughs> when starting the van life, especially as a couple, mm -hmm. is, I mean, how do you uh, do number one and number two in the RV? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll show you how we do it how and how we got rid of it, but in a way that you don't see the nasty stuff, <laughs> but you do get the, f get the hang of how we do it. Mm. And <coughs> before, when we started, that was one of the biggest issues for me and maybe for Petra too. No, Petra didn't. No. <laughs> no, if you get it going, get it going. Yeah, well, I had a bit more problem with that. Just wrapping my head about around the idea of it. Uh, and it worried me, I think, the first month until I had to go in the van for the first time. I mean, you know, I tried to go at other places. At the campgrounds, I tried to go at um, rest toilet. stops, public toilets, into shops, into whatever, everything. Mm -hmm. And then there's always that day, it comes eventually that you have to go number one mm -hmm. or number two in the RV. And there's nothing around. So, <coughs> we're gonna show you the system today. Uh, it's morning. Mm -hmm. Well, afternoon. <laughs> we just woke up <laughs> and we just had our coffees. Darn good coffee. Some darn good coffees. Mm -hmm. So everything is in working order. So the first time one of us has to go, number one or number two, we will explain you the procedure. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting video <laughs> for you guys, buddies. <laughs> So, <coughs> if you think, well, that's too much information. <laughs> click away. That's too personal. Yes, just don't watch this video. <laughs> but if you're interested in just how every as aspect goes, then uh, stay tuned. Uh, no nastiness, just um, a fun way of showing you how we do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's one thing. Just make it a fun experience. Just talk about it in a fun way. That already helps, uh, um, uh, and and as you can see, this is a van. It's we have windows mm -hmm. all, over. all over, and most of them open. We have a window up top. So usually, uh, always the top window we have open, anyway, except when it's winter and Petra gets really grumpy. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but usually, if we have to go. We make sure we open an extra window, and there's a good airflow in a van. So if, especially if you open this bad boy, <laughs> um, then any smell is like a way quicker than a toilet in a house. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is true. Yeah, and that was really surprising. We didn't know that in advance, but because it's so airy in here, uh, you hardly. Uh, have to deal with smell and in a house it, it, it's a closed box mm -hmm. and it's a closed door in a closed box and smell usually lingers there m longer <laughs> than in an RV unless you spray it well with all kinds of sprayiness mm -hmm. but uh, we did buy all those things sprays and everything 
uh, but we found out that we didn't even need to use them. Yep. We can just incense the room if we want to afterwards. Uh, we have some lavender, for example. Mm -hmm. Yes. Lavender oil. Uh. So this is uh, lavender oil. And um, Mm. Mm, smell that bin. Ah, oh, amazing. Ah, oh, it's so uh, nice smelling. Yep. And what do you do with it? Well, uh, what you can do uh, is put it on a napkin, a uh, paper towel, and then uh, put some drops on, and then put it anywhere in the bin you want to uh, have it smell. Is that? Uh, paper towel, I uh, folded it up and then uh, you can put some uh, lemon oil on it and in this case you can uh, pin it anywhere you want, like here and then the, the room smells nice again Awesome! <laughs> well meanwhile I'm feeling a little bit What's number two and what's number one again? One is a small one. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like a uh, number two. <laughs> mm. So I guess I have to be the one show you the number two. I mean, mm -hmm. we said the first one who goes number two and she show it. Mm -hmm. So he goes, buddies, come along for the ride. Preparation items <laughs> for number two. Hmm. When you go number two, first you'll need, if you choose so, a roll of toilet paper. My lovely assistant, show them the roll of toilet paper. Second item you can use hmm. is kitchen towels kitchen paper towels and we'll show you why those are handy in a minute mm -hmm. the third item we use baby wipes baby wipes. baby wipes this is a package of 80 baby wipes and they look like, how do they look? how does a baby wipe look? like this it's a wet wipe <laughs> 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 it normally never happens. No. Wait, it's a wet wipe. A wet wipe. And it can you can clean your hands with it. Yep. Or other butter parts. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want. Anything, Anything you want. But is the next step, as you can see behind Petra, if we walk there, mm -hmm. behind Petra is a room. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a room I can fit in, as you can see. And we both fit in there. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, there's a lot of clutter here. So Ooh. step two always is clear the clutter. <laughs> clear the clutter. Clutter out of the way. Okay. Because you want a clean bathroom. <laughs> you have some uh, porta potties out there. And uh, we used to have a porta potty in the van that we could store mm -hmm. under where Petra is sitting. Yes. But it's not high, so you have to go really low uh, through your knees mm -hmm. to sit on it, and it's really hard to get up from again. So, and because it's uncomfortable, it's it's a long, uh, it's a long way down, and it's a long way up. So it's not something that you we gonna use, especially me, <laughs> on a daily basis easily. Mm -hmm. And we did check out in the camper store the extra high porta potties, and they are awesome, mm -hmm. but very expensive. I think 130 euros, mm -hmm. and it's a very big uh, thing. Mm -hmm. So the the that was I think it was a Tetford toilet. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll show you a picture. Uh, in the video 
and it's really it, it has the right height to sit on like a normal uh, home toilet mm -hmm. uh, but it's uh, like a huge apparatus so if you if we would store that uh, in here mm -hmm. then we wouldn't have any room then you always have that toilet mm -hmm. in there and you only need it like for five minutes a day and then it would be there 24 hours yep. So we didn't go with that because, but that was that was my original plan to go with the big Tedford. I said, if I do this, I want a big Tedford toilet. <laughs> so I bookmarked it in my favorites, and I wanted to buy it, and I saw how big it was, and we said, well, that's never gonna fit. Mm -hmm. A fourth item in preparation is this uh, smelly bag, so to say. It's a, it's a perfumed. Perfumed? Perfumed bag. Waste bag. Waste bag. So. It's a perfumed waste bag. Smells it smells like lemon. We also have sea breeze. Um, roses. Yep. And most of most of the stores sell these. Mm -hmm. They're big, they're 35 liters. <laughs> There's way more than you will need. But I'll show you why we have the big ones. Here we have. Let me take it into the light. <laughs> this is an old fashioned toilet bucket. Mm -hmm. It's made out of. It's an iron toilet bucket from the 50s or 60s. <laughs> yeah. So how many centimeters is this bad boy? This bad boy is almost 29 centimeters. And in this bucket is the, the before mentioned, it's clean. <laughs> and in this, in this bucket, I already put in the the perfumed bag. As you can see, that's why we need a 35 liter one. Because it's a great bucket. And in there, I do this uh, paper, paper towel, towel. As you can see, I make a paper towel at the bottom. And I make it into a nest. A nest. Or as people say, mm -hmm. a raft. <laughs> A raft, if you you can put it in the toilet, if you go in the toilet, you can ma put in one piece of toilet paper. You make a raft for the number two to flow off in. <laughs> so that's a great, darn good advice tip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, but I make the raft just for extra protection. It, it's not needed, but it's it makes me feel better. So that's just the setup. And we always, keep one bucket prepped like that yep. and if we don't use it we just put it down here or down here wherever we want if you get sick or anything oh yeah I want to throw up we have also have the little bucket for little emergencies mm -hmm. to use the toilet to set up the toilet We just put it on the floor, like there, mm -hmm. and take the lid off, and there you go. And as you can see, you have a lot of room in this uh, toilet. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do something extra. This, this is usually Petra's setup, <laughs> and I do one more thing for my setup. Because I like some extra height, I like my toilet a bit higher mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like you be uh, we have this this camper table and you can carry it around like a little suitcase it's very thin mm -hmm. and I think it was only 20 bucks in the camper store mm -hmm. and I usually use this table I fold it out, mm -hmm. <laughs> fold it out. I fold it out buddies <laughs> as you can see 
the table fits exactly in this crevasse, in this niche. Mm -hmm. And let's measure it up. Mm, it's about 26 centimeters. So I will create uh, a height, extra height of that. Um, about 55, 29 plus 26, it's about 55 centimeters. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, 55 centimeters of height, and that's higher than usually the home toilets. Yep. So, in my case, I put the bucket on the table. And for me that's that's all I need. So and then I uh, take the lid off. I prepare the items I need. Mm -hmm. <laughs> prepare the items I need. On here. And afterwards you just take a baby wipe and clean everything off since it's also our kitchen. <laughs> But as you can see, here's the fridge. There's nothing, nothing in the vicinity of the bucket. <laughs> so I'll show you guys the procedure. Look, I have extra. I can rest my hands on this thing. Mm -hmm. And if you want more privacy, we can put that pillow that's now over there. Mm -hmm. We can make, we can put that here, and we, we have a bigger privacy wall. Yep. That is, if you're in a place where you need a bit more extra privacy mm -hmm. you could put the pillow here yep and then i could put my hand here oh my head and there <laughs> and i sit on the toilet <laughs> and afterwards i'll just uh tie up the bag i tie up the bag and i dispose of the bag mm -hmm. and because I have to dispose of the bag, I open this door. Mm -hmm. So fresh air. Door. Fresh air. Instantly. Thank yeah. you, my sister. Fresh air instantly moves in. I open this window. Before I start, I usually open this window. I open this window, or just this window. Open it. So we have this agreement, and that's the only thing if you, because because we're a couple. We find out the best place is Petra sits here, sits here, and I sit here. I'm very cozy. Hey. Hello. Hello. So, and that way I have cover from Petra. Yeah, I always keep watch. Yeah, Petra keeps watch. She can watch that window. Mm -hmm. She can watch there. there. She can watch there. Yep. So we can even close the curtains if we would want to. Mm -hmm. And also, she doesn't have to see what I'm doing behind. So, it's it's the best position to sit, because if she would sit here, on this couch, she would look right at me and I wouldn't be, ab wouldn't be able to go. And if Peter has to go, uh, we reverse that. So I keep watch, and Peter does a thing. And afterwards, you just open the door and get rid of the package. Yes. The number two. <laughs> so the van is aired instantly. Mm -hmm. yep. And where do we dispose of the bags? In the bins. If there are any. Yeah. In the bins. If there's bins, we put them in the bins. We also have, um, because these bags are see-through, we also have black bags. If we're in an area where, where you are in public, then we're not going to go walk with the see-through bags, of course. Mm -hmm. And we put in, and sometimes we do that standard, we put the see-through see bag into a black bag, black garbage bag, which is even more quality. Mm -hmm. And then you have an extra layer of protection in case the one bag would rip. You always have the other bag. And where do you dispose of that garbage bag? Just like normal garbage bins. Yep. And they're all over. Yep. And that's exactly where people also throw in their dog poo. Dog poo. 
dog number two, uh, baby number two, diapers. Uh, we can all all throw that in garbage bins, mm -hmm. so there's not. Um, they don't have separate pool bins for dogs or people or babies. It's yeah. just one garbage bin for everything. It doesn't say forbidden for number twos. <laughs> so you can just dispose of your garbage there and it's in the bag. So it's well, it's it's all well taken care of. And it's a small country. You say, well, why don't you just dig a hole? <laughs> well, we're in the smallest country in the world and there's nowhere to dig. Everything is... <laughs> Everything is built, everywhere are people, uh, so if you would dig, uh, you would probably be digging on somebody's property. Mm -hmm. So there's not a lot of open space, no deserts, no lands, or no barren fields where you can, can dig, no forests uh, without people in there. <laughs> so, and if they would see you digging, they would probably call the police. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that is how we do the number two in the van. And it just takes a little bit of trust, yeah. How we be in the RV? For me it's easy, I have these fruit containers. That's basically what Petra uses as well. Mm -hmm. So if you have a big one of these, mm -hmm. this one is filled with water people, this is normal water. But we have one of these also, and you can collect it in there and then go dump it. Mm -hmm. at the dump place. I'll show you that in a second. Mm -hmm. So I fill this and then I carry this to the dump place and dump it there. If I'm in a in a camper spot where there's no dump place I'll just uh, water the tree. Mm -hmm. I'll just go f into the bushes and dump it there because we are believers that it's just natural waste. I mean animals pee on the floor, on the ground, on the grass. Or do doggies pee at trees. Yep or in the bushes and we don't see the harm in that so if you offend, offend somebody with that so be it <laughs> <laughs> this goes into the ground and especially yeah I don't think it will do any harm so that's very easy to dispose of um, but we prefer the dump dump places to do that and I'll show you how we do that in a second I do my business I use this device here. It's a yeah. It's a what's it called? A whiz. A whiz. A whiz. Ah. Look, yeah. A whiz. She uses the whiz. So a she whiz. put she put uh, a yeah. whiz with the whiz. And that's a silicone whiz, and it's also handy if you are in a public place and the one and the toilet is dirty. Mm -hmm. Then you can use the whiz. Yes, exactly. And you have like the disposable whizzes, and because, yeah, they're a bit more expensive, and because Petra uses this on a daily basis, we went for the up the expensive whiz, which was a silicone whiz, and I think it's only about twenty bucks. Yep. Yep. This one was yes. Mm. So, and that's how easy it is, buddies. The nice thing about it is that even sometimes, even if we have campgrounds with toilets, um, we're so used to going in our own van uh, that we sometimes prefer that over using the campsite facilities, mm -hmm. especially if they're uh, not very clean or yeah. of uh, if they're far far away on the campground. Uh, we prefer the comfort of our own home mm -hmm. because we get used to it okay. and as you can see this whole area this is a lot of space so you're basically on the toilet and then you can look around you can talk to each other <laughs> <laughs> you have even have windows you can even close or leave open to you can look outside mm -hmm. and as we said, it's airy, and the smell is gone in, s in seconds. Yep, it is. So, thank you for asking us that question, how we do it. Mm -hmm. We hope we showed you guys. Yep. And that's how we roll. So, 
And that's all there is to it. So if people wonder how do you do that in a, in a van or in an RV, this is the way. And it does help. That's the, the benefit we have standing height everywhere. So that's, that's very nice. It's also nice if you want to undress. And you can see I can stretch my hand mm -hmm. all the way up there. Yep. I can stand. Yep. This is over two meters. Yep. This is one, me one meters eighty, I think. 80 centimeters and yeah um, I'll, yeah I'm gonna show you now how I dump the pee mm -hmm. awesome. oh yeah before we forget another reason not to use the porta potty is that you have to put in chemicals mm -hmm. and those chemicals you can't pour out uh, just in nature and the can chemical bottles in the Netherlands you can only buy those in the camps, uh, camp, campsite stores mm -hmm. and uh, in America you have the Walmart I think everywhere and you can buy it everywhere but here in the Netherlands you just have to drive uh, to a special uh, camper store to buy them so they're more expensive uh, it's a longer drive to get them mm -hmm. and um, Special toilet paper, which is also very expensive. Yeah, the special toilet paper, like the the instant uh, dissolving. dissolving toilet paper, you can also um, you can hardly buy that except in the camper stores. Mm -hmm. So, and if you go in an RV and you know you're going on holiday for two weeks, you just buy one bottle of chemicals or a spare bottle. Uh, you buy some rolls of toilet paper and then you are set for two weeks mm -hmm. but do this the all year round then it gets a very expensive habit of having to drive air weekly <laughs> mm. because we don't have a lot of storage uh, we would have to drive weekly uh, to a camper store um, to get expensive paper and expensive chemicals mm -hmm. and then it would be a big chunk out of a, out of a budget uh, simply to use a porta potty and this way uh, we have something that works for us in our daily life mm -hmm. so that's another reason and, and the same goes for uh, the composting toilet because we did look into that and it sounds very nice mm -hmm. but there's hardly any places uh, where you can dump your composting toilet um, mm -hmm. there are probably some farmers who accept it but uh, we haven't found uh, enough uh, we yeah there's just not enough spaces to to do that yet uh, and another thing is you have to use sawdust mm -hmm. uh, uh, and stuff like that and there's just not many sawmills here so so we would have to drive somewhere especially to get a whole bucket of sawdust <laughs> which we would have to store in the van <laughs> and would have to go replenish uh, lots of times so each time we would have to drive to the sawmill and that's just not practical nope right no it's not it's not practical yeah and it's also a cleaner idea that you would dispose of your waste mm -hmm. immediately after you're done instead of carrying it around with you for long periods of time uh, in a small van. Yep. I mean if you have a bigger RV that gives a bit more options to store things and to buy things in storage. Mm -hmm. Alright, well I'm gonna show, uh, go, go out now in the rain, go away to the dry a bit and show you how to use the dump station. With thanks to Petra who taught me how to do it. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So, as, as you can see, this is the camper spot. And I just uh, show you the bins. So bin and another bin, and you just dispose of your waste. And I take a little walk to the dump station. And this is usually also for how RVs dump. As you can see, there's a sign here. It says RV dump station and here it is this is a typical dump station it's a square in the floor 
and how it works is as follows. You move this lever and then that thing will open. So <laughs> that's how it works. It opens and you can pour in whatever uh, you want to pour in there. And then you could carry an extra canister with some cleaning uh, water or something, but that's not. It's raining now, so we're not going to do that. And by the lo dirty looks of it, nobody cleans it. So afterwards, you close the hatch, and then you dumped your tanks. And a lot of people use uh, portable tanks, so. Uh, that's how it how it's done and because I use my shoes I, I clean them in the wet grass and that's how we roll in RV life